Hello, welcome to another Ginger Mapetition video. I'd just like to get my final piece of advice if you're doing the October 2025 IGCSE maths, mostly paper four, but I know some of you have also got the paper two as well. My first key tip is to taper. So just like if you're running a half marathon or a marathon, you would taper towards the end and you should do exactly the same thing with your mathematics. You're doing very, very light revision. Perhaps watch one of my videos on a very specific topic, but don't don't try and cram lots in before the paper two or the paper four exam. And I'd like to talk about the paper four specifically because something came out of the May 2025 papers that's really important to understand. The old style back in 2024, they had lots of subparts to each of the questions. Now it feels that the paper four is much like the paper two. It is simply a calculator paper. So in some ways that makes it easier because there's less of these big part C, part D questions, but it does mean they cover a broad range of topics. So making sure you're fully prepared, you need to make sure you have revised everything from the syllabus. And if you're looking for that extra last piece of revision for that revision puzzle, so to speak, then check out my predicted paper, my predicted paper pack, papers two and four. And you can check out the video here, or you can check out the link in the description below.